How's it going folks? Today I just want to give a very quick tutorial on how to load in a schematic on Schematica. Um, this is very good for factions cannoning or just building in general um, or saving a world. Um, not necessarily a world but a portion of a world that you really 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 want to save for a later point or spawn in. Um, so I'll show you my mods. Minecraft 1.12.2. You're gonna need the Forge mod with um, Lunatris Core as well as Schematica. We'll hop in a, my creative server right here. If it would load, we're having some trouble loading. But if you guys ever want to hop on here, it's vanillaplots.mc.gg. Almost there, my friends. Alright, we're in the server slash plot me auto. Oh, I, I gotta go home to my original plot. Plot me. Home. So, let's practice this real quick. Slash, slash, wand. So, I'm getting a wand because... Once we get the schematic saved of what we want to save, I'm going to show you that you can load it in um, through your main schematics. And I'll show you how to save a schematic through World Edit as well. So first, we're wanting to save with Schematica. So we need to make sure we can get access to our Schematica commands. So, right here. We are going to want a load schematic or save schematic. So I'm going to make this something easy to access. I'm going to make load schematic something easy to access. And actually, I'll, I'll wait on the world edit to show you guys the world edit thing. For now, I'm just going to focus on schematica. So this is the saving a schematic. So let's say we wanted to save this house. We are going to place the... We're going to stand where we want to make the first point open the, the save schematic and we're going to set our red point and you'll see one second when you're in this mode make sure you click on on for alpha because then you can see your red point right here so we want to move this a little bit so let's try to configure this I, I keep it in the wrong button let's try to move this over no wrong way I'll put it right there we wanted to go one lower because we want to make sure we can get all the blocks so we have set the red point. Now let's come up here and we want to make sure we get that tree and everything else. So we'll go right about here. Open up our save schematic shortcut, set our blue point, and now let's look at what it's going to save. This is the box that it's going to save. Oh, we didn't quite get our tree, so we got to move back our red point back over here. We're going to open it up, set red point, go one lower on our Y, oops, Y, and now let's try to save that. We're going to name it house and tree, save, sweet, we got it saved. So now let's try to load in a schematic, we want to load our schematic in over here, click here. Actually, wait, wrong one. We want to click on the opposite one, which is the open schematic, which is going to be right here. Now we got to find our schematic that we saved. What was it called? House and tree. There it is. We're going to click done. And boom, there is our schematic. That is how you open the schematic. So we, we already saved it. We just saved this over here, and now we opened it. Now let's move it over a little bit. I think we might be able to Oh, we got to we got to add another shortcut real quick. So we're going to go come over to controls and manipulate schematic. We'll set this right to M. Done. So now we can manipulate it. Let's back up a little bit so we can see M over over Hmm. Let's bring it, I want to bring it closer to me. 
let's see, go down one so the grass is flat. That's bringing it closer. Perfect. And now it's separated from there. And now we can see they're identical copies. So if you really wanted to, you could take this schematic. If you go in, I'll, I'll, I'll show you later in another video how to get into your .minecraft folder in order to access these schematics. But what you have to do is access your schematics folder and you can save that file anywhere you'd like and continue to have this house and move it from computer to computer, world to world, uh, upload it for anybody to use. Um, and from there, it's just easy to copy things and move things over and work really, really fast um, and always save your work um, and not have a risk of losing it. I, I really hope you enjoyed. I'll have more tutorials like this. This is a very basic tutorial just showing you first how to create the schematic and then load it in. Um, another cool thing is it helps you build the schematic. So if you want to rebuild this, let's say in a survival server, I can come through here, and if I mess up a block, it's going to tell me that it's the wrong block, and I need to get rid of it. Um, so it can be very handy, and like I said earlier, it can be very, very handy for loading in, let's say, a very, very large cannon um, for, for Minecraft factions. So here's an example. Here's a very, very large cannon. Um, and yeah, you can move. You could. We could save this real quick. Let's let's try to save this giant wither. We're gonna set our first point using a red point. Make sure you have alpha on so you can see the point itself. Gonna come up here. Set our next point, blue point. We're gonna name it wither. Save and let's hope I got it all. I think I got it all. Let's come over here. Now I want to build this on a survival server. Let's pretend we're on a survival server over here. We're going to just go open up our schematic. Let's find wither right there in the W's. And there it is. And now I can just build it in. And it will tell me what blocks I get wrong or right. So I really hope this, guys, uh, this helps you. I'll put all the download links in the description. So for Schematica, Forge, uh, Ludicrous, whatever whatever it's called they'll all be there um, and yeah I hope you guys enjoyed good luck building or whatever you're doing um, and have a wonderful day